Hey what's up everybody this is Dom and today we're taking a look at the brand new design for Cydia in iOS 7. It has been officially updated and I'm going to show you how to download it right now. So the first thing that you actually want to do is make sure that you launch Cydia and you want to go to the changes tab here and then tap on the refresh button in the top right corner and then you should have these two available options pop up for the upgrades here. Now if you don't see them there they can also be found in the manage tab under your sources which is to the right of the changes tab and you'll find it under the Cydia source here but if you don't go ahead and hop over back to the changes tab tap the refresh button again and you'll be all set up and ready to go furthermore you may be prompted to upgrade Cydia right when you launch it today so keep that in mind now let's go ahead and get this upgrade rolling on here you can see that it's upgrading the Cydia installer and the UI kit tools go ahead and tap on upgrade and we will let this run now keep in mind that this is just a UI update it's not going to update mobile substrate or add tweak compatibility for any of Apple's 64-bit devices such as the iPhone 5s the iPad Air or the iPad mini with retina display this is simply a bare bones UI upgrade which in my opinion is awesome right now they've been hard at work on this so hopefully we will see mobile substrate and many other tweaks updated here in the near future but until then once you've had this installed on your device you can go ahead and tap on close Cydia to be presented with Cydia's brand new UI design for iOS 7 so as you can see here Cydia automatically relaunched itself and here it is this is it. This is the brand new Cydia design for iOS 7. Of course, things like the home page right here have yet to be changed. So those things will come in the future as that's just a big web page right there. But everything else, all that you can see on all these other tabs have been completely updated. Even the manage section has complete new icons for the packages, sources, and storage. And in my opinion, it looks pretty darn clean. So I'm very happy with this. Now, unfortunately, this update did not not include a new icon just yet so you'll still be stuck with the old Cydia icon for now but I'm sure that update will come very soon in the future but they want to make sure they do it right and do it justice but as you can see here on the home screen we do still have the same Cydia icon for the time being so keep that in mind you're getting the UI update here and as you can see everything is completely different from what it was before we just have a more iOS 7 look which in my opinion I prefer it. I think it's a lot cleaner than before. But I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the brand new Cydia update for iOS 7. This is Cydia 1.1. Point nine. So keep that in mind and go ahead and check it out. Like I said, you're going to need to refresh your sources in order to see this upgrade pop up for you. Let me know what you think though about the brand new Cydia design down in the comments section below and please leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe for future iOS 7 jailbreak coverage. Thank you very much for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.